Hi everyone, it's Bev here, your mental health coach, providing tips, tools, techniques and advice helping you to stay mentally strong in these difficult times and beyond. What I want to talk about in this video is never compare yourself to others. I want to talk about why we do it and what's at stake when we compare ourselves to others. So why do you think we compare ourselves to other people? We look at other people and we say, oh, I'm better than them or I'm not as good as them. What's going on? Well, basically, it's the way that we're raised. We're born into a social matrix which reinforces comparison. As children, we're told from the moment that we can talk or walk, sit there nicely. You're not as good as so-and-so. Why don't you get good grades like so-and-so? If you don't learn this, do this, then you'll never be as good as whoever. You won't get that good job. And so we start to learn to compare how we're doing against other people. That's our measure. Now, when we become adults, then we look at other people, we look around and we see, oh, that person's got a better car, a nicer job, a bigger house. They've got more money than us. And we get on this treadmill of comparing ourselves. What does this lead to? It leads to dissatisfaction fundamentally because we're in this competition. We're in this envy game. And when you look at it, there will always be someone who's got a bigger house, a, a, a smarter car, you know, a better job. So where does it end? But when you look at it, really look at it, how ridiculous is it to compare ourselves, our unique self to another person? When we don't even know what that person may have sacrificed to get what they've got, you know? What did that person sacrifice to have a big house and how are we measuring success anyway are we measuring success by all the trappings all the accumulations some people will measure their success by having loving people around them families relationships how do you measure loads of money in the bank with a peace of mind and happiness but the most important thing I want you to take away from this is that when you measure and compare yourself against another person, you cancel yourself out. You null and void all your achievements, all your experiences, all your abilities, all your um, successes. What does that do for your self-worth? Comparing yourself to another person, looking at their outsides, you know, their, their, their results and comparing yourself to that is like comparing a, an apple to an onion. They have different functions. An apple is great in a fruit salad, but not so good in a stew. You know, how can you compare yourself to another person? You have a different function. You have a different way of looking at the world. Now, when you stop comparing yourself to another person, own your experiences, your uniqueness, your uh, brilliance, your creativity, the way that you do things, the way that you, your sense of humor. And when you do that, then you develop your own sense of self, your own self-worth, your own self-esteem. Start being yourself is the way to stop comparing yourself to other people. And as Oscar Wilde said, be yourself. Everybody else has taken. I'll leave it there until next time.